everybody, Debbie Cowan here at Prime Lending, um, Closing Connections with Debbie Cowan, and I have my new friend, Deidre Fernandez. Thank you for having me. Now, what you guys don't know is for the last 45 minutes, we have been in deep discussion, so we really have run out of topics to talk about. No, just not kidding. Um, but um, we have had a great conversation in the last 45 minutes, and um, I'm going to try to bring some of that information into our conversation today. So, Deidre. Yes, ma'am. Um, we had, I don't know how we did it, but we were, we met finally after Facebook time and knowing each other and went to lunch about, what, about two months ago? Yes. Yeah. As a matter of fact, we were at Crazy Cucumber. Yeah, we were. Yeah. We were. And um, I had always seen you on Facebook, always, you know, checked you out and stuff and finally had the chance to meet you face to face and found out we have so much in common um, and a lot of our beliefs and our thoughts and things like that. Yes. But... I know that, I don't know if you've seen any of these videos that I do, but the whole purpose is getting people to know who you are um, other than real estate. Oh, okay. So we all know, you know, you've been around and you, you, you do excellent in real estate, but sometimes just trying to give a little bit of information to the community to get to know you a little personally. Okay. So I won't talk about the fact that you love liver and onions, so. <laughs> <laughs> which I did find out and definitely don't. Feel the same way, um, <laughs> yes. but um, so so I know you're with Keller. Had, were you always with Keller? I was not. I started with EXP right okay. out of the gate as a new agent. And when what what year was that? Uh, 2019. Okay, so yes. pretty recent, right? Right. And I know we talked a little bit about that at lunch. Um, why real estate? Um, well, back in the early 80s, so I know I'm kind of dating myself a little bit, but um, not, I worked uh, for... Not as old as me, as per Gabby Dance, but go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> um, so in the early 80s, I worked for Hank Ehlers at Century 21. Okay. I was his bookkeeper. Oh, okay. And uh, I just, I was, that was before computers. Mm -hmm. so oh my gosh, I, I remember. <laughs> writing all the contracts and handling all the finances and making the deposits and cutting the checks and it's all of these kinds of things. So you learned the hard way. I did. And I just, I was, I loved it back then. I loved what I did with all of the agents, mm -hmm. just... I but you weren't know. selling. You I was were... not selling. I did have my license. Okay. So I could answer questions right. and things. But I wasn't selling. I got out of that field um, for a few years and actually became a hairdresser. Really? Probably one of my favorite things I've ever done. And then uh, I went back to the business side of things. That's mm -hmm. really where my heart throb is. Right. And so I went to work for Tom Egan, who is a real estate attorney. Oh yeah, I know him well. And I worked for him for 10 years. Oh, I didn't so know that. So I have been in the real estate field for many years and then uh, got into the corporate world in the healthcare field. And finally, I just said, you know, I need something different. And so I walked away from that and decided I was deciding between insurance or real estate. Mm -hmm. And because I'd had the history in real estate, I thought I would love it. And well, you I obviously had all kinds do. of, yeah, I was going to say you obviously had all the knowledge, you know, from the years that you were surrounded by that information every day. Um, and I, and I know that, you know, I know you do very, very well, but if I remember you were telling me that, didn't you have family that's also in construction or? I do. I have uh, two brothers and both of them are in construction. So, so you one, even have that as well. I do. And my one brother, he designs, the, he, he's a draftsman. Right. So he designs the homes and takes it from start to finish. He cool. will build out the new, the new homes as well. Um, my other brother, also a contractor, uh -huh. he can build from scratch, which he does too. He does a lot of uh, remodels. Oh, okay. A lot. I mean, okay. that's probably, he does more of that. He stays so busy doing that. He just throws a house in here. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to give him a plug? Uh -huh. Yes. That would be um, Earl Varney with Precision oh, yeah. Construction. Okay. And so um, you can, honestly, I don't know his telephone number without That's okay. looking it up. That's so terrible, but you can definitely look him yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. So do you um, ever like co-partner with him on any sales for construction or? I do. So. Um, you have a little bit of an end there? A little bit sometimes, okay. you yeah. know, um, he will like, if I have somebody that wants to build a home, yep. then whichever one of them is available is the one I will work with. Oh, great. Yeah. So okay. I, I do my best not to pick and choose. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. I get it. So you have that background as well. So yes. Yeah. So how long were you with EXP? Um, it was a short time. I wanted, I think 
probably about three months. Okay. I wasn't there very long. Okay. I wanted something because that's so computer based. Mm -hmm. I really wanted to be with people. Yeah, yeah. I like people. Yeah, it's a virtual, right? Right, it so, is. So, yeah. Yes. So I'm you, not knocking it. It's no, a great it's a great pro, company. Yes, it yeah, is. it's a great it company, is. but I understand the, you know, is, and with Keller, obviously with their training and their ongoing training opportunities and things like that, and the name is, you know, everybody knows it too, right. which is obviously very it's cool. It's an automatic trust. Yeah. Automatic trust factor because of the name. And now, I have you, found that to be true. Yeah. So do you go into the office on 17th? Is that, I do. Is that your office? Okay. I do. Okay. And every once in a while, I'll, I'll, you know, work out of the Summerfield office. Oh, okay. Where I'm at, where I physically am located, I'm right in the middle of both of them. Okay. So it depends on really which direction I'm going to be mm -hmm. showing houses at. And so then, where is your market? What, I mean, what do you, is it all of Ocala, all of... I, that's a great question. So, and I do get that a lot. So I will serve the Tri-County area. Okay. Um, I was born and raised here, so I feel like I have a really good um, That was my next question, right? For, for the area. And Was it Ocala? Um, actually, I was born in, I was, grew up in Bellevue, Okay. but went to school and worked in Ocala. So, okay. it, so yeah. you know, it yeah. just kind of, I've watched it grow from. I mean, you're really one of the, like, homegrowns that we don't <laughs> see very often, right? <laughs> we get that, yes. Yeah. yeah. Did you ever leave this area? I have not. Oh, I my gosh. I love to travel, but I really, I love Marion County, and I Me love too. it when people move. I work with a lot of out-of-state yep. clients, mm -hmm. and I love it when they come here and they, they want to move and then they just fall in love with our town. It makes me very happy. Yeah, I know. I mean, and that's something that I've talked about a lot on the, the videos that we do is that, I don't know if, I mean, you got into it in 19 right before COVID. Yes. <clears throat> and during COVID, it was insane, busy, mm -hmm. busy with everybody coming into the town. And it's, it's always a question is, how did they get here? How did they find it? And it's so interesting to, you know, to hear how they actually found Ocala, mm -hmm. you know, of all places to go to. So I always have that conversation as well when I'm talking to my clients and I'm just like, how in the world did you find us? And it's always through, well, not always, but 90% of the time it's through my friend lives here and I came down here and visited and fell in love with it. And that's why I chose here. I would agree that's probably 90% of the answer that mm -hmm. I get as well and mm -hmm. I'm working with someone right now that that's exactly why mm -hmm. he's buying here. Well how many times have you run into it? I know I have um, a lot where they'll come to visit Yes. and all of a sudden they're not they're, they want to buy something. Absolutely. I ha and I get the well I don't have any of my documents with me because I wasn't planning on doing this <laughs> and I said you know if I had you know a dollar for every customer that said that to me in my career, I'd be, mm -hmm. you know, I wouldn't be doing this. And there, it's so funny because it happens so much when they come here. Right. Yeah, and they're just visiting and they they find their paradise. Right. Now, the Tri-County for you is at Lake, Lake Marion. Lake Sumter, Marion. And um, do you do anything in Citrus? I will. I will go to Citrus County. Okay. Um, I'll go to Alachua County. Okay. And I'll go as far south as Claremont. And honestly, I'm actually working with someone. We're looking in Longwood. Oh, wow. So, okay. I mean, for for somebody that wants, I don't mind going. The, yeah. And um, I like to drive. I think I got that from my dad. He used mm -hmm. to be a truck driver for several years. Okay. Uh, but I love to be on the road. So, so it doesn't, doesn't bother, bother me you. at all. No. And, and there's, I, I've noticed recently that there's a lot of agents from Orlando coming into this area. So I don't know if it's because we're just starting to, you know, get so big and the villages is kind of going out into Lake County too and getting closer. But um, I've noticed that and um, I don't know if I like it, you know? <laughs> and the reason being is because they don't know the area, right. you know? So we're educating a lot of times, you know, and I think to myself, if I were a client, you know, would I want somebody that really is here and knows knows mm -hmm. the market? Because, I mean, we have such unique things here between Marion Lake and, and Citrus and everything. You yes. know, I mean, you can go 10 miles up one way and be in a completely different environment than you are, Absolutely. you know. Absolutely. Which I think is also a big draw for why people get here. Mm -hmm. Well, and I think it's interesting that you say that about the Orlando coming up this direction mm -hmm. because the agent that I'm working with on this home in Longwood, because I feel like you do, if I'm not really happy about them coming up into our space yeah. either, 
um, why would they be happy about me coming to theirs? Now, I'm not listing property down there. Right. I'm showing. buying and yeah. showing property down there. So what Think I like different. to do is I just tell the agent, I'd like to partner with you on this. Can you tell me about the area? I've done my research. Can mm -hmm. you tell me a little bit more? And then I go first. I well, go that's look perfect. first because I want to know. And you know this, and, the, and I, so to your uh, statement a minute ago, he said, I find myself coming up into Lake County because we don't have the homes here that my clients are looking for. Right. So that would be one answer right. to um, possibly why why not listing that yeah. he's coming up to, to help buyers. And companies. I think that we still, I mean, even like in the villages, places like that, that I mean, we, st we have, we still have, even though we have a high price point as well here, we're not quite as high. So Correct. I think that gives them a little bit more affordability, gives them a little bit more um, opportunity to find something in a really nice subdivision that maybe they might have paid a little bit more somewhere right. else. Right. So, um, Deidre, talk about a little bit about your hobbies. What are your hobbies? <laughs> and I know what they are. So, let, but besides eating liver and onions, yeah. what else? <laughs> So one of my hobbies has always been ballroom dancing. So oh. I've done that for many, well, well over 20 years. Well, you need to go on and Dancing with so, the Stars. Oh, no. I did that one year here in Ocala. You did? And Mary beat me out. Oh. <laughs> she did. <laughs> uh, she's with the fast tracking. Uh -huh, yeah, uh -huh. she's the one. Yeah. Anyway, I love her to death. We're good friends. So <laughs> she, yeah, she beat me. But, and I, uh, I danced with Shad Dougherty. Oh, wow. I sure did. We had a blast. It was so much fun. Oh, my gosh. But, um, you, so that's one of my hobbies. I love that. So where, where do you do it? Well, COVID really hurt that. Yeah. But um, when, when that happened, uh, everybody just kind of dispersed. So we just, I noticed lately, because I haven't back. been out into this for a mm. little bit. So, um now the dancers are coming back out. So it's when you see a dance, you just show up. Like, and you don't have to have a partner. That's the beauty of it. You just go dance because they even do lines where the guys line up over here and the girls line up over there. And then you just get oh together and you start dancing. It's a place. Is it in, like can, in Marion County? Oh, yes, ma'am. Really? Yes, ma'am. You oh, just go cool. on there, look up ballroom dancing in Ocala, and you'll find something. Well, um, so. does it count that I, I did cotillion when I was a kid? Absolutely. I, mean, I know how to do the, you know, four box step Absolutely. and Maybe I know how to do all that so yes. maybe I'll I'll go with you one time okay show so my stuff at Blessed Trinity they had the cotillion oh. and so me and one, my partner we went over there and taught a couple of years in a row as they were getting ready for, for that it was so much fun. I love that so. that's very cool and what else I know that completely different um, okay. part of the equation here <laughs> so on the flip side of that of course I love the beach and I love to read right but my new thing my new thing is riding motorcycles. I know. So I love to be on a motorcycle. Like, that's my total happy place, but I've always ridden on the back. back. Right. So now I've decided I'm going to do this myself, and so I've got my certification, so now I'm just learning to ride. Now, do you do that a lot, like on the weekends and stuff? As much as I possibly can. I want to be on that bike. But you're not going by yourself, are no. you? Okay. No. Okay. And and I think did you tell me you did it through like Mount Dora area and going oh going gosh, the back those roads? Beautiful rides. Beautiful uh -huh. rides. So Mount Dora is a great place. Riding over to Saint Augustine on the back roads a great place. Um, it, there's just so many places. Speaking of Marion County, uh -huh. that are back roads going to Cedar yeah. Key or yeah. Crystal oh, yeah. River or oh, cool. um, just. Do you have a paint so bike? Many, no, it's silver. Okay. <laughs> it's silver. <laughs> I wanted to just make sure. No, no, yeah. No. Um, yeah, no. I think I, I wanted a white one, but I ended up with a silver one, and I think I'm glad that I did. Is it a Harley? It's not. Okay. It is a Suzuki. Okay, so is it really big? I mean... No, because I'm not big enough no, to you're not a big bike. No, so. I was going to say. So. Okay. My girlfriend um, and her husband used to go to Sturgis mm -hmm. every year, right. and they had built some sort of a bike trailer right that they would go out to out west mm -hmm. and then they would park somewhere and then take their bikes for the rest of the time Absolutely. and the pictures and the you know stories that i heard and sturges itself mm -hmm. you know is a crazy place but um i always wanted to do that and i never got a chance to because they they retired and have moved on but that was my goal was mm -hmm. to get on a bike and go to sturges one year so 
I hope that is still a goal of mine. I'd like to do that. Yeah. Um, so I'm hoping that this year or, or at least next, but definitely I would like to this year go to maybe Tell of the Dragon. Now, where is that? That is in North Carolina, I think. Okay. So. So you'll just like take your bike with the trailer and just probably not. drive there? Probably still ride on the back. You will. I don't think that I am... I'm a good enough writer to, to go, go do that something far. like that. To, okay. It'll be trailered, but I don't, yeah. I don't think, I know that I am not a strong enough writer to go around those hills in the mountains. I, that would just yeah. make me too crazy. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think that is the coolest thing. When you told me that, because you were like the last person in the entire world that I could see I know, right? <laughs> on a bike, enjoy, but, I, but I love that. So one of the things that we were talking about before we started the video was just how you know, the difference between our generation versus some of the younger generation and how they're kind of getting into more of a um, farming and mm -hmm. healthy lifestyle and what they're doing to, you know, kind of stay away from pharmaceuticals and things like that. And, and I didn't know this about you, but that was something you have also always been in, right? I have. So... Um, I was in the healthcare field for a period of time and learned about um, just holistic health. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't take medicine. I, if I need something, I'm, I'm use herbs or and I take have chiropractic care mm -hmm. and that's just my approach. And so uh, eating well and exercising yep. and those types of things I think are extremely important. Uh, and that's how I raise my children. And they have maintained uh, that, lifestyle. That, that lifestyle, and I love it. And I just um, now, I how old are your children? My son is thirty-four, and my daughter is twenty-one. Okay, so you had a big difference between yours, and so did I. Mine were ten years apart oh, too. Okay, that's mm -hmm. right. We yep. talked about that. Yep, yes. yep. And are they local? Uh, my son is local, so he was able to move home a couple years ago. He oh, was cool. in Miami for college and work. Okay. Warm. Um, for a long time, so he now is uh, the manager of the Brown and Brown office here in Ocala. Oh, nice. Yes, so okay. it's so nice to have him home because about the time he moved home, my daughter got married and her <laughs> husband's in the Air Force, so they live in Idaho. <laughs> oh my gosh, my son was in the Air Force. So, oh, nice. yeah. See, there was another thing. Yep, yes. there you go. Now, any grandchildren? No. No, not yet? Not yet. Okay, all right, well, when that happens, you know. I will Talk be sure to, me about to it. let the world know. Let, yeah, I know. I'm sure that's probably exciting for you. So they stayed with the whole holistic and yes. all that. And um, so what What does that basically mean? Does that mean you just don't take any over-the-counter stuff? Everything is... I'm not going to say that. Okay. But I will say that the approach to when something's bothering you, mm -hmm. it's not to, for me, it's not to go take Tylenol. Okay. It's it's more, I'm going to call my chiropractor and get an adjustment first and let my body do what it was Whatever designed it's to, to do, do, which really is designed to heal itself. Mm -hmm. And that's why a fever's there. It's telling you that, right. you know, your body's got to fight off things. Uh, so if we, br so that's just my approach. Mm -hmm. Um and that's what I liked about our conversation yeah. earlier because it, it brings in the thought process of the younger generation that's going back to gardening and, and getting away from and you, some of you the things. And you grew up on a farm, you said, or no? Um, yes and no. Yeah. My grandparents had a farm, which okay. in blocks would be like a block away from mm -hmm. me. And part of our chores was working on that farm. Uh -huh. So they had a very huge garden. Uh, one of my favorite things I tell everybody is I loved it because... I like working in the garden because I go pull a turnip right out of the ground yep. and go wash it off at the and spigot eat and it. eat it. Mm -hmm. Just right there. <laughs> yep. It was awesome. Oh, <laughs> Well, I know um, you had mentioned to you that you're a big venison eater. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And did you, it, does like your brothers and all them, did everybody hunt? And so my, uh, my youngest brother, he hunts, he is a big big hunter did they hunt around here for deer they do oh. but now mostly because in, there's just not a whole lot in of georgia places to hunt so they'll go to georgia mm -hmm. and then they travel other places yeah. because now but, i have nephews and yeah uh, everybody that's grown up now and hunting and yeah so now that my son's back home he's kind of getting back to his roots so he started hunting again oh wow you know, there's not a whole lot of hunting down in miami going on no and there's not a whole lot of i mean i mean the deer here kind of right. look like dogs smaller. yeah yeah they are well i when i was married before years ago um my ex-husband and his family were from pennsylvania and they absolutely were avid hunters i mean every season whether it was buck doe mm -hmm. you know trout season every there was never summer winter fall or 
spring, it was all all a season, yes, uh, all a season of some of sort of, of sports uh, and, and animals. And I came from a um, family of four girls, so my dad he tried for boys and he kept trying until he didn't, but he never got one. <laughs> so I grew up in an, with a you know with my dad who never did any hunting, so I didn't know that lifestyle. I didn't know what, you know, it was gross to me. It, it was like, you know, it, I just didn't do it. And then I married somebody that that was all their life was. Mm -hmm. So when I moved to Pennsylvania, I, I'll never forget it. I was going to tell the story that I had been out shopping, mm -hmm. and all the guys had gone doe season, do, or doe hunting, or buck hunting, I can't remember. Anyway, they had all left that morning at like three o'clock in the morning and did their thing. And I um, came back to my in-laws house and I was driving into the driveway because they had called and said they were, they were back. And when I pulled around the driveway on the clothesline were five deer hanging from, and I thought I was in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre because my ex-father-in-law was in the garage already grinding up meat to make mm -hmm. his sausages and stuff yeah. like that. And I was like, nope. Not in Kansas City anymore. I'm going I'm not staying here. I gotta get out of here. It was like a horror story for me, and, and I never forgot that because mm -hmm. I was. I never know what I, I. I don't really know what I expected mm -hmm. when they told me they were gonna go out and get deer. Right. Um, but that wasn't it. Yeah, and I, so <laughs> I was like, I'm definitely not in Florida anymore, and I and I'm not. I'm a daddy's girl, mm -hmm. and this is not what he taught me. So I gotta get out of here. So. <laughs> It was a big shock, but and I never could get used to eating it oh. because, and they they tried to trick me all the time. I mean, it was in spaghetti sauce. It was, you yeah. know, they, they, and I go, "Am I eating? Is that what? Am I eating it now?" And they, no, no. But I I tried to get used to it, and when I would cook up like the hamburger mm -hmm. or whatever, it just was like it had a different smell to it. Mm -hmm. Or and I've told you that I've had issues with certain foods. I'm not going to eat. I would see it, it was bloodier, it was red, and I just said, nope, can't do that either. So um, I, I can respect anyone that can, far, can hunt and eat what they kill, because that's the only thing I think you should do, right. um, is do it for that reason, not for sport. So um, that's my story on um, deer hunting. So <laughs> I actually have one more quick one. I did go yeah. up and sit up in a tree mm -hmm. stand one time, and they kicked me out and told me I had to leave because I couldn't keep quiet. So go figure. I mean, oh. <laughs> that was my other thing. So, but I, I. So, what do you think about the market right now? How's thing? What? What? How's going? How's things going for you? I mean, what are you thinking? Well, I'm busy. That's I know that. Wonderful. And um, I'm getting calls every day. Uh, what I love about what I've done in the past is I the people that I've worked with before. You know, I'm dedicated to creating a one of a kind of experience with these people. And I, I, I can know tell sometimes that. that couldn't sometimes it's challenging one, it but it's yeah. one of a kind yeah um and i'm just dedicated to that so i get referrals from my previous clients and again that warms my heart yep that's um, what we live for so i am busy i think the market is a good market mm -hmm. and i talk to my lenders all the time you know like yourself and then i get emails yep. from from people i'm always wanting to see what's happening what is happening but um really what's available mm -hmm. and and I like to partner with other yep. agents yep so I really look for building those relationships mm -hmm. and so it's a win-win for everybody yeah so if I'm gonna pull Keller Williams into that that was part of my reason for choosing them mm -hmm. because their values align with my values yeah. I, yep. and it's all about the win and yep. that means for everybody yeah absolutely um, well I can tell just the few times that we've had a chance to sit down and talk to each other mm -hmm. I think you're fantastic and I think that I can definitely see that you your customers would you know benefit to have you on their side and and definitely you know just keep doing what you're doing but I just think that you are fantastic and I hope that anyone out there watching if they need anyone they're going to give you a shout out and again Deidre Fernandez it's been a pleasure talking to you and I know we're going to talk more I'm sure we are <laughs> thank you so much for having absolutely. me absolutely